you say you're not racist? Please don't blame me. 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 Please don
condition of the nation. The it, it just shows the condition of the nation. How can we blame slavery on the Confederates, which only ruled this, the South for four years? So we're going to take all of slavery and blame it on four years? Come on, that's not fair. That's suspect. Many people bring up the fact that you had black soldiers in the Confederacy, uh, but not bringing up the fact that a lot of those were slaves and they were forced to be in the Confederacy. That's what I'm seeing. You're not taking it down. To tear down our history. Same thing like when governments come into another country, they burn their books just like the Nazis did. They come in, they burn their books, they erase their history. Does that make sense? Yeah, I'm in Nazi Antifa. And you're not a delusional fuckwit who lost the war 150 years ago. <laughs> oh, fuck y'all. We want to win the dinner for 100 years. We'll fight you for 100 years. for a couple of decades and then you the, the kids will forget it because the kids will never know about it. It's a shame. It's something that the city's got to deal with, whether they like it or not. It's just something that they got to deal with. We were 
not hide like cowards. We're here for our heritage and for our history. It's nothing about racism. This is about history. We're trying to hide it. They wanted to beat me up over there for standing up for what I believed in. They want to throw fire at me. Even when I turned around, you maced me twice. Do you know what that's called? That's called assault. Yeah. And I will be filing a police report, and I will be pressing charges. I've never seen anything like this. It's the most ridiculous thing I've ever seen. being taken away from my children or the next generation or the generation after that and the one after that it keeps forgot it keeps being forgotten like that then eventually it just won't exist at all and then it'll repeat itself back either later on tonight or we might come back first thing in the morning we don't know it depends how the crowd is as you can see they're not very friendly and they're not very nice people they want to play the victims even though they came into our neighborhoods and harassed our neighbors they're fucking clowns they don't live in new orleans they pull out a full token racist of course we got a few racists in our city but look they're down off the monument. The monument's coming down. You can't, tell can't wait. You can't hey, they bringing them down tonight? What's that? What did the cops say? They bringing them down? Fuck, you want me to know? Go ask them. History is not owned by a city. History is owned by the people, the descendants of the ones who created that history. No government entity should have that much authority. And in the second decade of the 21st century, asking African Americans or anyone else to drive by property that they own, occupied by reverential statutes of men who fought to destroy the country and deny that person's humanity, seems perverse. It seems absurd. Century-old wounds are still raw because, you see, they never healed right in the first place. The Civil War is over. The Confederacy lost. They may have been warriors, but in this cause, they were not patriots. I don't understand the other side of it. I've got friends that kind of agree, think like they think. We can have a civil conversation and, you know, everybody's welcome to their opinions, you know, but there's no sense in violence. I won't straight out call the supporters of the Miami's racist, but I can see that there is, there could be a level of ignorance, right? 